What's it mean to like to, to have that kind of influence on, on, on a kid that comes to practice and you guys all gather around? You can just see a, a boost of energy in his face. Well, obviously he has a great time, but I, I think our guys have as much fun making sure that he has a good time while he's here as, as what he ends up having in the end. So I just think it's it's part of, I think it's a responsibility that we have. We live in a community that supports us uh, as well as anybody in the country and I think you have a responsibility to give back to that community and uh, it's something that, that we've always done and will continue to do. Hey, getting Denzel in the rotation, he's been waiting, he said he's been waiting forever it seems like. What, what kind of boost can he give you guys? Well I think first and foremost just we, we it gets some guys off the floor a little bit and gives us a little bit more depth so that we do have we can get through foul trouble or we can give, give guys an extra couple minutes a half uh, that's going to bode well for us, not just, I think, at the end of the game, but as the season uh, as the season winds down, I think they'll have more in their tank. And, you know, he's a talented player. He, he can shoot it. He's strong. He's athletic, uh, knows how to play. Um, having said all that, we have to remember he hadn't played in almost two years, so I think there's going to be a period of time for him to adjust and get his sea legs back, so to speak, uh, when he when he gets on the floor. And uh, you know, I'm hopeful that one of those first couple shots goes down for him because I think that'll take a big weight off his shoulders. But it's been uh, it's been a long wait. He's worked hard. He's stuck with it, and uh, you know, hopefully it all pays off for him. Greg, uh, Big Twelve, uh, Big East. You got two Power Five conferences going on. What does a game like this mean? Well, as I told the team, I mean, you, you talk about the play-in game to the NCAA tournament in Dayton, and, and to me, this week is a couple play-in games. Like, I think ourselves in Oklahoma and Arizona State all feel like if things go well, we've got a chance to be playing in March, uh, and these games become very important uh, at that time of the year. So, uh, I mean, it's a high-level game right before Christmas time. I think it makes it fun, um, and, you know, guys are done with the finals, so that's in the rearview mirror now, and now you just have to settle in, and obviously, a, any team coached by Lon, Lon Kruger is a well-prepared team. Uh, and, you know, they're coming off a close loss at Wichita this weekend, so, you know, we're going to get their best. Yeah, I think he gives. I think he gives his guys a lot of freedom. And you know, the thing that I've always noticed and appreciated about coaches' teams is that they, you know, guys get better every single year. Guys that maybe were in the shadows last year all of a sudden evolve, uh, and and you can't believe how much improvement they've made over the course of, of the year. And I think that's certainly the case with Doolittle, uh, with the level that he's playing playing at. So, you know, the coach Kruger's teams aren't going to beat themselves. They're going to be sound defensively. They're going to take good shots, uh, and uh, you know, it'll be a heck of a challenge for us, but one that should, one that we're looking forward to and should be a lot of fun. Yeah, I mean, I'd, I would argue that he was in better shape than when he left, which is a credit to him. And I think he really got in the gym and, and got his body in great shape. Uh, and you know, I think I think he's ready. I think the, the the physical part, I think he's ready. Now it's just maybe climbing that mental challenge that it's going to take to, to get back on the floor and, and and get a feel like you fit in. You know, and practice you can do so much. And obviously, we've used him over the course of the last week uh, with the top group uh, uh, primarily. So I think he's I think he's got a feel from a practice standpoint. Now it's just a matter of getting out there in front of the crowd again and and. Uh, uh, getting a feel, and like I said, hopefully we can get him some easy ones early and get him going. When you have a guy who's away from the team, I mean, did you know what to expect? He, he said you guys checked in on him, but you're yeah, still we were, right. I was in constant communication with him and his brother, and his brother was spending a lot of the time in the gym with him. So yeah. uh, I think his brother really did a good job to make sure that uh, he was preparing himself. And and uh, when he got back here, he, re he went to work. You know, he was in he was in shape. He was ready to go. Um, you know, he's we've had to fast track him on you know with some of the injuries that we've had. He, he basically has to only know how to play three or four spots uh, on, on, on day one. So, you know, we've tried to keep that package that he needs to know, uh, you know, relatively compact. But, uh, you know, he's a good basketball player. So I think you you add another good basketball ball player to your team. It just it helps. He knows how to play the game. Can he play a two, a two three, and a four for you? Is that what he's going to do? Yeah, he may play a little five, too. So... Uh, you know, he's strong. He's arguably one of the strongest guys on our team. So, uh, you know, depending on Calvin's availability tomorrow night, you know, we we need somebody that can slide over there. How's, uh, how close are you to Hurricane? 
I don't think we know. I mean, I think we were making good progress last week, uh, and then he had a setback with some swelling, um, and you know he's back on the practice floor this week and, and moving better, still not even close to 100. percent So, uh, you know, that decision will come when when he feels like he's ready to go and that that he can be productive. And at this point, uh, he, he's not at that spot. I didn't even know it came out. So, I mean, that, that stuff really doesn't make a, a, a lot of difference till you get later in the season. Um, you know, things can change. I, I think what we do have um, is a very, very strong conference. And while we maybe don't have an elite team, uh, I don't think we have a bad team. And, you know, so when you have nine or ten teams that are, that are really, really competitive, I think that's going to bode well for your league. Uh, there's a lot of opportunities for quality wins during the course of our conference season. And obviously we got a couple opportunities this week as well. Great team coming in, and then what will this tell you? Uh, this will be big for us. Uh, obviously, the non-conference season is winding down, and just to build your resume for March, this is big. If you want to win out of your conference, you want to protect home court. Uh, and I remember my freshman year, we, we protected home court very well, and then we let a couple slip at home last year. But we want to make this our a place where we can win all the time. We can rely on it, uh, especially with our crowd. And then uh, it'll just it, it'll be a great win for us if we can pull it out. And then going into Christmas, it'll be really good for us. What did you learn last year about playing them? I know it wasn't a, a great memory for you, but as a team, maybe what uh, what do you remember? Uh, we just I mean it was a good test for us on the road. Obviously, when you go to a Big Twelve. Big, Big 12 school. We had a young lineup, but now we have everybody back. Uh, like you said, I mean, I think I was 0 for 11. I didn't hit a three. Not that I remember it or anything. 0 for 9 from three. But uh, uh, hopefully you can just hopefully you can just uh, shoot a little better. Uh, but on, honestly, just take the physicality, match the intensity, and just bring it. Uh, obviously, at third place, they they got us down, and we didn't really match their. They brought the intensity to us, and this time we need to set the tone, especially being at home and just showing we be business at home. Mitch, how much does uh, it matters a lot. Obviously, the Big East, we, when we match up against other conferences, we want to come out on top uh, as a whole. But selfishly, it, it, it means a lot to us as a, as a team. Uh, going forward, This mean, if we can get this win, it, it'll mean a lot for us going forward in March and just seeding and all that down the road. So you want to win these ones. And like I said, you just want to protect home court. But it's huge for the Big East, and it's even bigger for us selfishly. What about uh, getting Mahoney eligible? Now he can play. How much different will you guys be? And now, you know, with Davion almost getting close, I mean, mm -hmm. it's kind of like getting reinforcements, did you? For sure. It's like a, I mean, it's just adding another weapon. Uh, Denzel, we've been anticipating him being back, so we've, we've, we're getting him into the flow with these past couple uh, practices, and we're just getting him into the offensive flow, getting the timing down, getting him knowing the plays and he'll just add a different component because he, he is a solid a solid build and he's strong and he can add that add that addition to the like he can catch it on the block he can go at little guards if they if they want to match it match up with us like that and he brings a component they can shoot the ball so when you add another guy that can space the floor and that can get downhill and get to the rim and add that physicality on defense and switch multiple positions then I mean, that's huge for us on both ends of the floor. So we're looking forward to getting him back. Is he going to get to the free throw line a little bit? you think he will? Uh, I don't know if he'll be like Tyshawn, but he'll, he'll get to that. <laughs> Eight to ten. How does it feel? You guys, finals week is over. You can practice now during the day. Just kind of tell me, what's the moment? Uh, we can't make any excuses saying we didn't have enough time to do anything. Uh, on the basketball court, we can just we can focus on this. We can focus on the game plan. We can we can relax. We can take care of our bodies, uh, and we don't have to worry about that the school aspect. So that that that's a big weight lifted off your shoulders, and I think it'll be it'll be very nice going forward for us as we start these last three games before conference, and as we get into conference, I think it'll be big for us. So we're enjoying it so far. Uh, it's a major relief. Been waiting for quite some time and just ready to be out there with the guys. How, um, how frustrating has this first semester been for you, uh, basketball-wise, not being able to show what you're all about? Um, I wouldn't say frustrated. I'd say uh, just like my redshirt year, you know, mm -hmm. just got to stay focused. How, how tough is it to stay focused and patient? Uh, it's, really fo uh, it's really hard, you know. Mm -hmm. uh, it's different from the usual situation, but, you know, just got to deal with it. What, what do you hope um, – 
to bring to this team? I mean, what, what can fans expect from you? Um, versatility offensively and defensively, and I'm just coming in to do whatever Mac wants me to do. What do you just think of this Uh, it's huge. The environment, the culture, everything about Omaha is just great. That's why I chose Creighton. What about the fans? Uh, can't beat 17,000, you know? Who did, um, who did you, when you were going through the process of deciding to come here, what, what point did you make the decision to come to Creighton and why did you decide to come here? Um, I decided like two days after I visited Ole Miss and I felt like this was just the best situation for me basketball wise, you know? Uh, with Coach Mack and everything and the system he has, he had a good plan for me. So why is the system so attractive for a player like you? Um, just a shooter system, you know, mm -hmm. get up a lot of shots up and down, mm -hmm. like an NBA style. Mm -hmm. Yep. Is this is this new for you? Like the media stuff, all the attention on the team. Is that something you embrace, or you just not? Do you not worry about? Any I, of that? I don't really worry about it. <laughs> I just come do what I'm supposed to. Okay. Yep. You know, you're jumping into the main rotation now wearing the blue jersey, but also you're preparing for a pretty good opponent. One right. that's going to be pretty important for your March resume. What's, what's these two days been like for you so far? Uh, it's been pretty good. You know, I try not to you know get too excited or too down about like playing time, or whatever. I'm just coming in and doing what I'm supposed to do. It's just another basketball game for me. What do you feel like is going to be the biggest challenge for you in the Um. Um. I'm just gonna. It's gonna be different. I haven't played an actual game in a year and a half, so just getting back to doing, uh, getting back to adjusting to how I used to play. What was your last game? I don't want to talk about it. Was it, was it bad? Uh, I can't remember the date. I remember the team, though. I had like eight points, so it wasn't good. It wasn't a good night. Yeah, okay. yeah, it wasn't a good one. So you had to sit with that, then. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that's not good. Yeah. been sitting there for Yeah, I know. <laughs> Try to forget about it yeah. now. So I apologize. <laughs> yeah. I apologize. Right. Yeah. Now you're going to play. So exactly. Yeah. Great setting up for you. Yep. All right. Thank you.